it's taylor and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you know whenever i upload aren't you guys so for today's video we are going to finally be reviewing the new finery fragrances body mist that recently have come out at target this year honestly i've had these body mists for at least like two months now like whenever they launched i went and picked them up the week later that's how late this video is being filmed but you know what it's here we're doing it so we're going to be talking about those today now i did not pick up all of the scents just because for one my target was literally like low on stock with all of them so i only picked up a couple and i only picked up the ones that i smelled in store and i personally liked however i am going to read off the entire list of all of the fragrances that this brand carries just so you know there's not just the ones that i have in this video but there are a lot more okay so like i said finery fragrances is a new like fragrance line at target i heard a lot of people saying they were supposed to be replacing mix bar but i still see mix bar being stocked at target so i don't really know about that but anywho this brand carries nine different fragrances the first one is called before the rainbow then they have flower bed i'm a musk jungle santal magnetic candy midnight cafe not another cherry sunphoria and sweet on the outside and like i said out of those nine fragrances i only picked up five of them just because the other three i didn't really care for the smell or they weren't like scents that i would typically wear and then one of them which i will let you guys know about was literally sold out i'm pretty sure y'all will know which one i'm talking about because when these fragrances launched that one was like the most popular one that was sold out everywhere like i said i did smell these in store but it has been a while since i've smelled them and know what they smell like so this will kind of be like a first impressions or like a re first impressions again so you guys can get like an authentic like review from me and whatnot because i honestly do not remember what these smell like but the first one we're going to be talking about here is called sweet on the outside and one thing that i do like about this brand is that the packaging on these bottles this is the body mist bottle but even their perfume bottles look the same it's just shorter i love that the packaging is super simple super sleek there's not really much to it and it's a little bit thin so it's easy or not thin it's very like small so it's easy to just throw in your purse and go if you want to carry it with you and just like spray yourself throughout the day the notes on here say that it smells like madagascar vanilla cacao wood and smoked viveteer and the description of this scent says it's a fragrance that explores every detail of the richest most exotic vanilla behind a sweet comforting facade is a dark and seductive complexity never judge a book by its cover so we're gonna smell this and y'all guess what i ordered me some perfume like tester strips from amazon that way i can spray it on here you know smell it like you're smelling it in the store as opposed to just spraying it in the air spraying it on myself or just spraying it in the cap which i hate because i feel like you can't really always get a true scent from that so we're gonna use my spray card I sprayed a lot I need. okay so this was one that I actually really liked again this is sweet on the outside and this actually reminds me a lot of Eilish by Billie Eilish the original one which I have it up there so I am going to do like a spray test to compare upon first sniff this is what that reminds me of a lot I definitely get a lot of that like woody smokiness type of note and smell from it but it's not like super overbearing to the point where it's like mm, I don't want it because that hint of vanilla kind of adds a little bit of a sweetness so I'm gonna spray eyelash on here even though I know what eyelash smells like I just want to smell them side by side on the tester cards it smells really really well together I find that eyelash is a little bit more sweeter on the vanilla which I think would definitely pair well with the sweet on the outside finery fragrance because it would bring out a lot of that woody musk from the finery fragrance and add a touch of sweetness from the eyelash. I also think this layered with a vanilla like sweet buttercream type of lotion would just add the icing on the cake. Okay so next one we're going to be talking about is I'm a musk and this one says it smells like fluffy musk, cotton blossom, and creamy sandalwood. Fragrantica categorizes this as a full muddy <laughs> floral woody musk fragrance so we are going to see what I think about it. I don't think this is too heavy on the floral so if you're somebody that doesn't really like floral scents i think you would actually kind of like this because the balance of the other fragrances or the other notes in here 
kind of equally balance it out so it's almost like a sweet musky floral instead of just being a straight up floral note like a rose or a jasmine or any type of floral notes it definitely does have a little bit of a sweetness into it to kind of make it like a warm and cozy type of floral instead of like a fresh spring floral you know all right next up we have magnetic candy and this one says it smells like sugared violet pink pomelo and cotton candy and this is one that i actually kind of remember the smell to because this reminds me a lot of Prada candy, the Prada candy perfume. <laughs> this is just a really nice fruity candy type of smell that is going to be perfect for the springtime. You know, we even smell like some candy, some tutti fruity, starburst, skittles. I feel like this one is going to be for you. Another great one to wear for the springtime is because it smells so good and I feel like this would smell so nice in the warm air during like spring and summer. Next up we have flower bed and this one says it smells like lush peony, green apple, and wild bamboo leaf. So I'm definitely expecting this to be a more fresh floral type as opposed to your warm like cozy type of florals. Yep, this is more so your fresh floral type of scent. So if you are a non floral lover this will not be for you if you absolutely love florals of course this one will be for you it smells a lot like rose to me which would actually pair very well with the rose body mist that i have from bath and body works along with this cacao rose body cream that i also have from bath and body works i feel like this would be a great great combination for the springtime most really nice fresh floral girly another one that's going to be perfect for the springtime and this would definitely layer well with any other rose scents all right y'all and the last one that i picked up is called midnight cafe this one says it smells like creme de cafe jasmine absolute and patchouli now i am not a patchouli fan i do not care for patchouli notes especially when they're super prominent patchouli is a note that i just i just cannot get with so we are going to see what this one is given i kind of feel like i remember what it smells like but not fully so i smell the patchouli i smell the patchouli but i feel like this is a doable patchouli. It was a lot more sweeter and I feel like patchouli is always just like a prominent note that just sticks out. At least for me, if anything has patchouli in it, that's the one thing I will absolutely smell first out of any other note. I can I can smell me some patchouli because I don't like it. Actually, it's a little bit sweet and I feel like it's because of that jasmine that's in it. It's like a sweet and warm type of scent. So the patchouli isn't super, super prominent even though you can smell it it's not overpowering because those other notes in there like i always say it balances it out it gives it that sweet yet spicy type of scent like this would go very very well with kaylee's vanilla royale sugar patchouli scent which i'm gonna grab that and test it out so i grabbed the vanilla royale sugar patchouli from kaylee and i sprayed it on this card and then this is the one that has the midnight cafe so definitely think that these would pair very well together because the kaylee fragrance is more warm spicy and leans a lot towards the boozier side whereas this finery scent is a little tad sweeter a little tad sweeter it's more on the sweeter side so i think that them mixed together would kind of mesh pretty well all right so those are all of the finery fragrance body mists that i personally picked up because like i said the other four or the other three I didn't really take an interest to it and then one of them was sold out however i am still going to talk about it in this video just in case somebody out there who watches this might want to check them out for themselves and smell them because fragrance is definitely subjective and not everyone will like the same thing what i might like is something that you might not like and vice versa so one of the fragrances that i passed on was called before the rainbow the packaging on this is super pretty it's in this like baby blue like turk not baby blue it's in this turquoise type of packaging and the notes say it smells like salty air bergamot and tree moss so it's definitely a more so i want to say beachy type of fragrance i don't really care for salty beachy fragrances they're not something i really go for so i passed on it even though it didn't really smell bad necessarily it's just something that i wouldn't wear in my collection the next one i passed on was jungle santal that one comes in a green packaging and it says it smells like papyrus wood indian cardamom and black oolong tea and if i'm remembering this one right it was a little bit 
on the woodsy earthy side like too much for my liking i don't really go for those scents so that's why i also passed on that and cardamom is another fragrance or another note that i don't typically care for either so hence why i passed on it next one i passed on was called symphoria this one says it smells like manoi blossom orange flower and amberwood and i think the reason why i might have passed on that one was like it was too like floral for me as well and i don't really care for the floral scents um, let's see, Fragrantica categorizes this as an amber floral fragrance. So yeah, it was a little leaning towards the floral side. So I passed on it. I did think about getting it, but I was like, I know I'm not going to use this. And I will only be getting it just to review for you guys. So I passed on that one as well. The last fragrance that I was not able to get my hands on, we're going to save the best for last. This was Miss Not Another Cherry. Y'all, this one when I went was sold out. And I went to a couple different targets in my area and they were all sold out. And I was like, dang, that was one of the ones I wanted to smell the most because a lot of people have been comparing it to Tom Ford Lost Cherry. So I definitely wanted to get my hands on it and smell it. But that one said it smells like wild cherry, Turkish rose, and almond amaretto. And that one did smell like a true nice cherry scent. All right, you guys, so those were all of the fragrances that I had to review today. If you all really liked and enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below. I am super excited to start using these now in my routine. Finally, I really hope that the longevity and the performance and the projection on these do really well, even though they're body mist. I hope they kind of layer pretty well and take well, especially on myself because I love smelling good all day. And one thing about me is I like a fragrance that I don't typically have to reapply throughout the day. Even though I don't mind it, I prefer my fragrances to be a lot on the longer lasting end. So I'm excited to try them out and see how they perform. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.